Allianz actually is a global financial services provider and we are predominantly active in insurance and asset management. If we look back to our roots there in the year 1819, where the company kind of started as a very regional provider as ca um, of casualty as well as um, um, transport insurance. And from that in um, origins in Berlin, here in Germany, kind of um, the company grew into a group that today is active in more than 70 countries. We have one, uh, more than 150 employees and more than 120 million um, customers around the world. So that's us as Allianz. Well, if I look at our success, I would always um, first say it's our corporate culture that is very, very strong. And when I talk about our corporate culture, two things come to my mind. The first is kind of the I call it the North Star of our activities and the other is our behavioral principles. So if we start with the North Star, so what is the thing we aim at every day we work? Um, that is something we frame as we secure your future. So our overarching purpose is to secure um, the future of all our customers. And that means we want to be a trusted partner for protecting and also growing the assets of our customers. And, and it's important that everybody in the organization kind of has this North Star and we all orient um, towards that goal. If we go into how we do this, so more the behavioral principles, it's important to know um, that Allianz overall has three major principles um, that are important um, for us. Just to name a few um, um, out of these, is for, uh, it's important for us that the customer is always in center. So customer centricity, digital by default is a principle, technical excellence, growth engines as well as inclusive meritocracy and the last one is very important for us inclusive meritocracy for us means it's not about only what we do but how we do business so that people um, matter not only performance a good question and, and actually that, that brings us back um, to this North Star I was just um, talking about so if your, your goal is that you want to secure um, your customer's future, that means you have to be um, sustainable. So you have to have a long-term orientation. And that includes, we want to be a sustainable insurer. We want to be a responsible investor, an attractive employer, and last but not least, also a good corporate citizen. And if you look a little bit deeper into insurance business, insurance business is about kind of seeing, so detecting and addressing risks early on so that you can secure the longer term um, um, sustainability and, and future of the customer. So insurance business per se is about sustainability. And then on the climate side, we realized at some point in time, and that goes many years back, that with the investment power we have as an insurer and an asset manager, we really can turn um, on the needle and do a lot to help finance the transformation um, we have started and we are in. So it's kind of the basis of our business and the power we have as an investor. It's a very, very great honor for us and, and a big recognition, um, I would say, of the collaboration um, the, um, between our organizations. And we are very, very proud. And I, I have to name one person because um, without him, Peter Lefkin, um, who's running our representative office in Washington, this collaboration would not be as it is um, today. So it, it's a great honor, but also it's kind of the result um, of the collaboration that Peter was driving. So very, very proud of that. And then I would say, I mean, it, it's, it's a, it's a um, um, sign or a proof of a strong um, transatlantic relation. And we all know how important that is, how important that is in particular in the difficult geopolitical environment we are currently in. So it's both, it's kind of, it's an honor for us, but it's a proof of how important transatlantic relations are in these times.